Pokemon Fire Red is one of my favorite games ever, and recently I found out about ROM hacks. Some people have done some pretty cool things with this game, and... Okay. Oh, this is not the best look for you. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself... FBI, open up! I named myself Sack and my rival Gary and started my adventure. Alright. No way. No again, okay, well, they all suck, what am I supposed to do? I ended up picking Charmander, I kicked the crap out of Gary, and I gave his sister a quick kiss goodbye before I left. I can tell that today's gonna be a very long day. He hasn't had his coffee yet? Ma'am, I think your husband's dead. Turns out he survived and wanted to teach me how to throw Pokeballs, which was a pretty weird experience. Uh-oh. What's he doing? <laughs> Don't do it, man. There will be consequences. Don't do it. No. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> I made my way to Viridian Forest where I caught Pikachu, and I figured out that they're actually double battles, which is kind of odd. I never really realized how traumatized these Jigglypuffs look. Ah, oh, how could I have forgotten about the Bean Pokemon? I wonder what Pokemon this is. My fingers were all sweaty from the problems this could get me into, so I accidentally made my Charmander learn Metal Claw over Ember. But, you know, it doesn't really matter because Charmander evolved into slightly older Charmander. Dratini, okay. I was confused because Dratini's not supposed to show up here. But anyways, I caught it because Dragonite is awesome. After some grinding, I decided to challenge Brock. He was pretty easy because I used Metal Claw on the Geodude, and I used my Pikachu and Dratini to debuff the Onyx until I could one-hit it. On my way to Mount Moon, I got challenged by a bunch of weaklings. They got mad at me, they kinda cried a little, they called me mean, but you know, it's their Pokemon's fault for not protecting their necks, you know? It's not my fault. Mount Moon is my least favorite part about this game, just like everyone else, but along the way I ran into a Neckbeard and his Pokemon were trash. Literally. I grabbed the Helix Fossil and ran back to get Nidoran, and I left Mount Moon. Completely unscathed, guys. I leveled up my Nidoran until it became a Nidorino, or whatever it's called. I don't really care. I decided the best thing to do was feed it a rock. I didn't really think it was going to survive, let alone evolve. Plus, why does he have a sword? I'm so confused. Oh my goodness, one million bucks for a bike. Next time, don't leave your bike outside with no lock. On my way to find some science dude, I ran into my rival Gary once again. His Pokemon were garbage, or maybe it's just because my Charmeleon is level 30. I don't know. After beating up a bunch of kids on the Golden Bridge, I actually got invited to Team Rocket, which was pretty cool. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You already sold me. I'm in. Yep, I am. I ended up finding the science dude, and now that all the Pokemon are anime girls, this was a pretty weird interaction. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go. The second gym battle was Misty, and I had a pretty easy time up until Starmie. Starmie just about killed me, but my Charmeleon was completely overleveled, so it wasn't a problem. Team Rocket is a pretty big problem in the city because the police officers are completely incompetent. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. Ah, oh, okay. I found him out back. He was pretty weak. I decided to actually keep the TM that was stolen. Which kind of makes me the criminal. Yeah, I'm not returning it either. On my way to the next city, I found the Pokemon Daycare and decided to keep Pikachu there. I'm never coming back. Ah. Uh... <sighs> my.
My favorite Pokemon is Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing, you think so? Hug it when it's <laughs> sleeping warm and cuddly. Spectacular. This has an all new meaning now. Dang, I bet Snorlax is thick. Look, it, it's a minor, guys. I'm so funny. I went to go get cut from the captain of the SS Anne. The ship looks oddly small. Uh oh, not this again. I ran into Gary again, and let me just tell you that Gary is still garbage, and I hate him. A lot. But look what they did to eradicate. There's nothing you can do to make this thing cute. Turns out the captain was pretty sick, so I gave him a good old rub, and he was all better, so he gave me a cut. I decided to give it to Nitto King, and you know, this is a disc, and I have no idea where I'm putting it. With the use of cut, I was able to get into the electric gym. Whoever created this gym is a terrible human being, and I hate them. I don't know who thought this was a good idea, because you're supposed to look through a bunch of trash cans for buttons. It's just dumb. Now that I had Charizard on my team, this gym was super easy. Ah, oh, why do you do this to me? I was in Cerulean City when I figured out that there were Mega Stones, so I bought one for Charizard, which basically turns Charizard into a goth girl. Great. Anyway, on the way to my next area, I found a Shinx, I caught it, and then I found a Luxio, so I caught that, and then I got rid of my Shinx. Amazing. I was too stubborn to go and find Flash, so I went through this entire mountain with no Flash, which was so fun, and it totally didn't take me 20 minutes. Uh, I'm getting flashbacks, creepy pasta flashbacks from when I was like 10 years old. Oh, what did they do to my boy? What did they do? I went into the Pokemon Tower where I found Gary. Yay. I love Gary. Gary's so cool. Then again, it kind of is my fault for killing his Raticate. While I was here, I found a bunch of ghosts and psychopaths. Oh yes, Luxray, my favorite Pokemon. But not anymore. Unfortunately, the top of the tower was blocked by a ghost, so I went back. I don't have a coin case. I like how the fact that I don't have a coin case is bigger than the fact that I'm 10 years old and I'm trying to gamble. I found an old lady who gave me some free tea, which was pretty nice. Got into the grass gym where I found this lady sleeping on the job. And I kind of realized that flowers weren't the only kind of plants that she was growing here. All of her Pokemon were garbage because my Charizard is completely overpowered at this point. I went back to the casino to gamble for a bit where I found a switch behind a poster to the Team Rocket hideout. Went through their stupid puzzles. Beat a bunch of grunts until I found the lift key. Went up the elevator where I found Giovanni, the mastermind behind Team Rocket. Uh, what a surprise. His Pokemon were garbage. After beating Giovanni, I went to bribe a bunch of cops with Mama's tea. I'm starting to think that the tea isn't tea at all. Turns out Giovanni gave me schizophrenia, so I'm able to see ghosts now. So Haunter, one of the scariest Pokemon in Pokemon, turned into a maid. Okay. Turns out the ghost at the top of the tower turned out to be Marowak. Um... <laughs> There was an old dude at the top of the tower who gave me the pokey flute eventually. And it was at that moment when I figured out that I need to go see my thick boy. I played quite the epic solo with my pokey flute. Snorlax got grumpy and I figured out that he's not a chunky boy at all. He's a maid. I still kind of wanted Snorlax so I decided to catch it. And I figured out that this lady weighs over a thousand pounds. Where is she keeping all the weight? A common question for adults is, how many Karate Kids can you beat up? I tested it out, and I figured out that I could beat up all of them. I challenged the master of the dojo, and he was garbage, just like every other person on this game. I didn't pick a Pokemon from the dojo, instead I came up here and stole an Eevee. I went into Sylph Co, which is kind of like the headquarters of Team Rocket now I'm guessing. I went up the elevator. 
This part usually takes forever, but I'm a Pokemon pro, guys. So I went and got the card key, opened a door where I traveled up a teleporter, and I found Gary again. It says Blastoise learned protect, and also what did they even do to Blastoise? Still garbage though. This dude right here actually gave me a Lapras, which is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I made my way to the top of the tower where I found Giovanni again. Giovanni's team was still pretty trash and I accidentally deleted the recording, but this guy right here said he would give me anything. Anything? Oh, oh, Master Ball. Of course, okay, of course, you know? After saving the city, I went to go fight the Psychic Gym. It was pretty stressful getting through this place, but I did it. It was pretty easy defeating this gym leader. All I did was use Flamethrower with my Gothic Charizard. Her Alakazam burned to death, and I got myself the Marsh Badge. And all I had to do after this was go through the maze all over again. Yay! After I made it to Fuchsia City, I went straight for the gym. This place's challenge is like a glass maze, which is pretty stressful until you realize that the corners are lit up on each one of the glass places. I don't even know, but I made it to him. He's a ninja. His Pokemon aren't. They're garbage. All of them went down from Flamethrower, including his Crobat, which is his final Pokemon. Just look at Crobat. Who made this game? Anyways, I got the Soul Badge. Hith. Okay, well, this guy's nuts. To get to the next area, I needed Surf, and to get Surf, I needed to go to the Safari Zone. I'm going insane, but I finally found it at the end of the place. With my remaining time, I decided to throw a bunch of rocks at Pokemon. You know, it's a pretty fun pastime. I taught my Lapras surf, and while I was swimming around... <laughs> uh... I finally got to Cinnabar Island. I went straight to the science place to see what my Helix fossil would turn into. I gave it to this one dude, and I had to wait for quite some time until I got it. I've gotta tell you, there's a reason this thing went extinct. I'm gonna keep it that way, man. The next gym leader isn't available until you go through the Pokemon Mansion, which was an absolute pain. So you're stuck? Try jumping off over there. Alright. It took some time, but I finally did it. I got through the Pokemon Mansion and went to challenge the next gym. This place was pretty straightforward, you just challenge a bunch of grunts until you get to the main guy. I used my gothic Charizard to just use Fly until I won, and I got the Volcano Badge. Right after I completed that, I got kidnapped and taken overseas. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was around this point where I started going insane, so I just skipped... Well, everything, until I made it to a forest where I found a little girl. She was kidnapped and taken into a forest by a Hypno. Not really a big deal. I just saved your life, and all you give me is berries. Yeah, you're just gonna have to stay here. I went back home to challenge the next gym, and let me tell you, there was a huge jump in, you know, difficulty at this point, so I decided to level up all my Pokemon. I kind of lost track of time, my Dragonair evolved into Dragonite, and before I knew it, all my Pokemon were over level 50. Turns out Giovanni is the final gym leader. He was so hard. He had a Rhydon. He had a Flygon, he had a Nidto Queen, a Nidto King, he had a Kangaskhan, and a Tyranitar. All of his Pokemon had Earthquake and Outrage, which made it really hard, but I finally killed the Tyranitar. It took me like three times though, and a lot of grinding. But I got the Earth Badge, and now I was able to go to the Elite Four, but you know it, yep, Gary. His Pokemon were completely garbage compared to Giovanni's, but he did have a Blastoise uh, Mega version, which was kind of weird, but it went down from two Thunderfangs from Luxray. I went to Victory Road so I could finally challenge the Elite Four, and this place, I take back what I said about Giovanni, this place was hard. Every single trainer in here had six Pokemon, and all of them were like level 45s and it was terrible. They, some guy even had a Rotom, which, 
I don't even want to talk about it, but I made it. Before challenging the Elite Four, I decided to buy a bunch of stuff and grind really, really hard until my Pokemon were super overpowered. And it's not that this was super hard, it's just that you can't buy Ethers in this game, so your PP is not very big, you know. All of the Elite Four members and Gary have full restores, and in this version of the game, they have like four. Plus, the Pokemon aren't supposed to be this strong. Uh, it's just, it was a pain doing this. Not only that, they also all have berries, and also every one of the Elite Four members and Gary have Mega Stones. But it doesn't really matter. I defeated all of them pretty easily, and then I got on to Gary. Kind of sucks how this is set up since you had to fight all four of the other ones and then you have to get onto him right after. There's no break in between or anything like that. And also, his team has changed a bunch. All of his Pokemon are over level 60 now, but I used Outrage and Outrage is completely broken on this game. This was one of the weirdest games I've ever played in my entire life. It's just kind of odd how people made every single one of these Pokemon. Like, there's sprites and stuff. It's... Oh. In this version of the game, there's Megas, double battles, and stuff like that. It's just... It was a weird experience, but it was actually pretty fun, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Gary's a pretty big sore loser on this game. That's why I hate him. That's why everyone hates him. I don't know one person who actually likes Gary, but, you know, it's pretty nice having a rival that you dislike, unlike in the new games. At this point, Professor Oak takes me in the back, and... Yeah, I'm dying, guys. I'm going insane. But here is the dream team, everyone. Oh yeah, and that Mew, I didn't talk about it, but I kind of cheated for it. I was going insane, and I kind of wanted to see it because it kind of looks like that one meme anime girl. I don't know. I find it funny how I started so enthusiastic this video, or I think I did. You know, at the end, I'm just, I'm just done. I'm just gonna get rid of everything. These things aren't even going to better families, they're just disappearing. I might be killing him, I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Bye.